Hodge, the Executive Director of Silver Ribbon Singapore. Silver Ribbon Singapore is a non-profit organisation launched by our late former President, Mr. S. R. Nadin, on 4th of February 2006. And uh, the purpose of launching this is to combat mental health stigma and encourage more people to come forward to seek help. At 18, Porsche Poe's mother passed away. She had lost her father when she was seven. Finding herself without a home, she joined the police force as it would allow her to stay in the barracks. While she rose through the ranks to become an instructor, she eventually left the force to focus on a new calling, working to raise awareness of mental illness at the Institute of Mental Health. After my mum passed away, what happened was like, I felt very lost. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you know, it's like, there's nobody there, I have no sibling. I've been pushed into facing all this situation that I don't even have a time to ponder how I feel and everything. I just like keep on moving and moving and trying to find outlet that what do I really want. And uh, there was a short period when I just like, okay, forget about it now, I just want to relax. But the thing is like, I want to do something meaningful. Then I joined uh, IMH. And I start to find meaning in the way that, hey, what can we do? Everybody passed away at a nice resort. Even when I shared that I was working in IMH, right, there are some people who said, why did you choose to work in IMH? A lot of stigma, not only cab driver. Some parents said, over my dead body, I was sent. I made my child into IMH for a treatment. She co-founded Silver Ribbon Singapore in 2005 to destigmatize mental illness and raise awareness of mental health issues. During my employment in IMH back then, I observed uh, quite a number of people are hesitant to come forward. There could be some people who are like really struggling with very limited support and uh, clueless about where to seek for help. So that's why I, I see the need to do more to beef up on public education so that more people will understand the importance of mental health and feel comfortable, most importantly, feel comfortable to come forward to speak out about their challenges and seek help. The non-profit organisation's work includes providing free counselling in the heartlands as well as outreach to schools, employers and foreign workers. It's never easy advocating for mental health. And the worst was back in uh, 2005, 2006. Uh, people will stare at me in a very different way when I talk about mental health. And right now, um, mental health is so vibrant with the support of everyone, the government, you know, and the mental health agency. So the thing is, uh, advocating for mental health, it's important to understand the needs instead of assuming the needs. It's important to communicate with the community to understand the needs better so that we can implement or develop or implement programs and services according to their needs. I really look forward that Singapore will be a mentally friendly and healthy society.